when biology meets technology miracles happen and dreams come true as a parent and youth mentor as a teacher trainer i have seen the dilemma of society on one hand it says i want to stand out which is why it will not share its success story and secrets but on the other hand society will also say i also want this i realized that most people in society wonder but i am not average because i wonder how do they wonder they ask how did the neighbor's daughter become so successful but i am not average i wonder and so i ask why am i doing what i am doing how can i do it better in 2018 of november I started teaching and learning coding for three reasons. The first reason being I was afraid to be outdated and average. So I wanted to stand out as a teacher and upgrade myself. This was a 21st century skill. Second, I am by nature a creator, a problem solver, and therefore I wanted to help other people create stuff. And third reason, I wanted to be a mama coder in a world where there are many daddy coders so that i could raise creator kids while teaching and learning coding i learned something about my mind i realized society loves mind games even i love mind games but society is average and i'm not why because society loves to play the mind games of controlling other people other minds other other people but my mind game is of controlling myself and programming myself so i believe in controlling myself i believe in wondering i question myself more than i question others i criticize myself more than i criticize others i challenge myself more than i challenge others and i told myself that madiha you are talking of changing society changing the world and helping people change their mindset but if you can't shut this chatterbox off and let it control you then you are not going to be a dif- making a difference in society and that's when i realized okay so i am a wanderer who questions what next different times in life with different situations i might end up making a lot of mistakes in conversations in different situations but i realized debugging could help so whenever i make a mistake when i i feel stuck when i'm not i'm confused about any life situation i believe in debugging how do i do that the 3r theory which really helped me so reduce replace and reflect i realized because of the society's conditioning from an early age due to the lack of the semi permeable membrane inside of me or mindfulness up to a period of time whatever beliefs and actions that i practiced were because of the way society trained me and when i had to come out of that system to change the world it was not easy because it can't be quick quick fixes don't work so what did i do i believed in reducing the behavior so earlier when people told me you always do this and my reaction was but you also do this and then i realized that now when my mindfulness has come in place my semi permeable membrane is intact i have learned to say i'm trying i will try again so reduced help next step is replace as i evolved and got better and i was no longer average and i got into the tribe of not average people i was surrounded by people who watched certain stuff which was not evil but i realized it could lead to destructions and make me less productive it is then i decided that i would do watch better stuff so that i am not distracted i replaced those things with better stuff so that i could be the better than the average not average people that i was surrounded by and third is reflect at the end of each day was my today better than yesterday i will make sure my tomorrow is better than today conversations programming is a language programming is about conversations and language 
So the conversation that you have with yourself and with God is more important than the conversation that you have with other people. And this conversation that you have with yourself and God will set the tone for every other conversation that you have with your clients, with your customers, with your colleagues, with your loved ones, with the world. I always told myself, Madiha, you are accountable. You are responsible. You are not going to be average and play, play, playing the blame game that society is forcing you to play. So I reached the level one alignment of thoughts, words, and actions. And I saw miracles coming my way. When parents whom I was mentoring, not being a parent myself, they told me, we want to learn from an expert. Not being from a PhD background, but I gave a talk at a national conference to a group of scientists on how to research your soul. It is then I realized that miracles were happening because I reached level one alignment. But as you know, average is boring to me. So I wanted to go to the next level of alignment where I felt I'm getting whatever I want. But now I need to level up my game to reach the next level because now I'm able to connect with hearts. Next level is programming my mind. Every time I get all this chatterbox around, all the noise that bothers me, disturbs me, and makes me less focused, less productive, I need to control this chatterbox. And that's when I reached the level two alignment. I told myself, Madiha, forget people. Remember God and remember yourself. Why, why should this society occupy so much of space in your head? Why should they take up the space, the storage space, the running space, the processing space? Virus will enter and you will become a vessel of negativity to your family, to your nation, to humanity. I feared ending up average if I allow their voice and noise to enter me. And then I understood one thing, that as youth, we often feel that everything the previous generation did is wrong. And therefore, we just blame society and elders that way. But at the same time, I realized being a modern youth, there are a lot of evil practices in the modernism as well. So I had to identify the negative practices of the old and the new, take the best practices out, and be a better example to both generations. And I always give this example to both the crowds of parents and children. I tell them that as youth, we feel we can use foul language because we are cool. We think it's cool. It makes us you know, stand out from people and modern. But the same elderly person on the street, if that person is using foul language, we say they are ignorant, they are rude. I'm sorry, you are as ignorant when you use those words which you think make you cool. How can a dignified individual ever utter foul language? So I realized I needed to have the best of both. And one thing I realized, modernism. It's not about the clothes you wear. It's not about the kind of lifestyle you live. It's about having that confidence and courage to say when the whole herd goes this side, that no, this is not the way. I'm going to take this road which is not taken. It's when I realize that I have to learn programming, program my mind before I program the world there. Self-made versus society made. Self-made people are rare these days, though we always say that I am self-made. Why is that? Because society-made people think up Think, about, think, I want to stand out, as I said in the beginning. They think I want to stand out, I want to be different, but they're not willing to collaborate and share best practices. At the same time, they have the dilemma of wanting to be like the rest, upload the same kind of selfie, do the same hashtag, take up the same challenge that the rest of the world takes. So I realized that as a multi-potentialite, majority of society will keep wondering, but I will wonder. How do I stand out in a world where everybody wants to be like everybody else? Two, two secrets to that success. My relationship with God and my relationship with myself. I understand this, that the justice system of the world will not keep me on track always. But if my boss is God, then I'm not going to deceive the company I work for I will not deceive the man I marry. I will not deceive my children when I'm a parent. I will not deceive my country when I represent it. And I will not deceive humanity. So as you can see, this phone, this is me. 
and this power bank is the are the parents the family the all the people whom i would look up to for satisfaction for happiness what happens at one time you will feel this is discharged you want to connect it so you will connect it to this but this is also going to exhaust at one point it is then that you will want to connect this power source to god and this power source to god as well and that is when you will feel real happiness real satisfaction and i realized that in spite of doing my best there will be times things will be out of control not in my control it is then i will rely on my prayers and surrender to god and let him fight my battles i won't give up society talks about being great and legendary but still you know what society will continue playing the game of controlling others and if i want to stand out at each stage of life at each level of life i have to keep playing the programming language program my own mind and program my own self and debug each time when i make a mistake and remember who the boss is so that biology meets technology dreams come true miracles happen peacemakers are programmers and that's me